And thanks for coming back in for another unboxing or for the same unboxing actually <laughs> we're still trying to get through this one this is was a big huge box a $14 flat rate medium flat rate full of jewelry it was a gift from a wonderful subscriber friend longtime friend here on YouTube and that's Miss Pamela so thank you so much Miss Pamela we're still working our way through this fabulous bag we have found lots of wonderful things including Carolyn Pollock Lots of sterling silver and just wonderful, wonderful pieces. I'm just so excited. I hope you like jewelry as much as I do. I hope you like thrifting as much as I do. I hope you like going to garage sales and estate sales and just basically treasure hunting because that's exactly what we do here. So I think you will find the channel quite to your liking. So I hope you take the time today to subscribe and to hit the bell right there by the subscription button as well. That way you never, ever miss another video. So we're going to get started. I did find this pop out. I don't remember if this came from another jar, honestly. I had to clean up some of the items I had all around the table, but I don't remember showing it to you guys. So if you remember, let me know. <laughs> but this one, this pretty thing surprised me. It has some beautiful pink stones and kind of a um, illusion design here where it kind of looks like it has stones i don't know if you've ever seen that kind of thing but it's beautiful it is sterling and i don't i think it popped out of this bag we opened what i think um two bags already there was probably four bags in that box so this is the one we were midway through and i hope that the internet is nice to us today we have had some buffering issues so let me know how everything is faring and all of that and then we'll finish with this bag and uh, we'll start on the other one. So let me just welcome you in. Hi, Maureen. How are you? Moon Goddess Treasures. How are you doing? I'm so glad you're here. Wings of Love. Hey, Vanessa. And uh, Christian Stokes is where's Mar as well as Mary and Barb. Miss Barb, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Let me show you my rings of the day. I have one that matches this thing quite nicely, but I just acquired this and this came from an estate. It is really, really amazing. I love it. Now they did say this was a tanzanite and I have researched it and it is, I believe, a Russian rose, not tanzanite, alexandrite. I'm so excited because I love alexandrite. Um, a Russian, vintage Russian rose alexandrite. It's in 14 karat gold. It is humongous. I don't know how much it weighs. I think it weighs about seven or eight grams total. So it's a beautiful, beautiful piece that I'm super excited to own. I also have that silver one that I was talking about at my uh, auction that I wasn't sure if it was monogrammed, I mean, hallmarked uh, with the little swan because it really looks like the little swan from Sarvarsky. But then I was looking at it under the loop again and it looked a little bit like an, an SV. So I don't remember. And this one I got from uh, Vanessa. So maybe Vanessa can can school me on that one. It's been a while since I've had this beautiful thing. But again, it fits me on that uh, middle finger. And I, I don't know, I think this would look so pretty on the ring finger. Then I have a beautiful um, crystal barrel with the wonderful Chateauant um cat eye there i love it it's really pretty that's in 10k and it's got teeny little diamonds on it. it's a vintage piece as well and then my friend sent me this beautiful ring that i love thelma thrift is what it says on it thank you so much you know who you are out there wearing that on my thumb but it's it's a bypass so isn't that fun i am so excited for this ring you don't even know you don't even know i even took a picture of it and sent it to my kids look 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 what somebody sent me <laughs> I am not kidding. I just love it. Hi, Miss Dawn. Dawn sent me a beautiful... Dawn, did you make that beautiful Valentine? That was so sweet. You're so talented. I always thought you were kidding about your crafty self, but you really are a crafty sort. I love it. And Anna loved it too. It was just darling. Hi, Mary. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks so much. So, uh, Joan, I'm glad you're here as well. And Kat, go where we get started. Sanja, uh, again, I don't even remember if this one came in here or not because I sometimes find things by the by the side of this little tablecloth here. And then I'm like, did this come from this hall or from another hall? But let's let's proceed. Yes, yes, it's so cute. I love vintage Valentines. I have a couple of them. Not I have some that I think came out in homage to them 
and they're really, really cute. And I keep saying to myself, I'm going to send them this year. And I, and I just keep them in my box of collectible cards. I think I'm going to send them to my grandkids this year, though. I'm going to try to send them out this week. I should do it tomorrow, right? All right, this was in here. This is a little bracelet. It's, uh, I think, Howlite. And then just some embellishment uh, there on the sides with some beads. And that's a little bracelet. It's got a really simple hook. I'm going to be a little bit too close. You guys think I'm too close? Let me move back a little bit. How's that? Hi, Cassandra. Hey, Mike, the crazy card. How are you? All right. Then I got this little bracelet in there. This is nice. It's a silver tone. Look at that pretty design on there. That engraving is pretty. That little etching all around it. It's probably just some kind of um, uh, base metal, but it's really pretty. It's got a really intricate design. It looks like some kind of flower that was in there. So yeah, and I have um, I had a set of cards that were really pretty with like chirps and things and they had some for uh saint patrick's it was like quite a few different occasions saint patrick's valentine they're so cute i could not resist greeting cards that was one of my things i always went to at the thrift stores i love that kind of stuff oh this one's pretty this has kind of a coppery but almost chocolatey color too it's really pretty cable bracelet i like that the kind of um, infinity symbol i guess or an x very cool oh, i did show you this one last time okay let's empty the bag and then we still have another bag and again this was from my wonderful friend pamela eagle shield she's fabulous and um she's always in the chat so say hello to her when you see her and I have to say that I see this little pendulum thing and my daughter found the other one in my, she's going to want this one too. Look at this. My daughter found the other one that had the chakra beads on it and she started showing me how to use it. She said it's mine. So she took it out of the tray where I keep my gemstone collection. And now I got another one. I hope she doesn't see this one because I like to keep them out there. I like to hold them and look at them and study them. And uh, so she took the other one that was a clear quartz, but then it had the chakra beads right here. And then she said, you do something like you swing it. And I don't know. I don't know all that stuff, but I just like to look at them and learn about them. This looks like um, amethyst at the top. I don't know what the darker one is. The blue one, I don't know either. It looks a little bit like, um, what is it, magnetite or magnesite, one of those? And I think I see citrine right here. And this is definitely some kind of jasper in the tip wow that is awesome that is super cute thanks for hitting that thumbs up guys as you walk in the door or if you have to leave early don't forget to do that this is gorgeous these are glass beautiful peridot color a little coil bracelet <laughs> she does she absolutely does yeah and i had to get her she gave me a few things back because she had taken my big spheres that I had bought at the Goodwill that I had in Tiger Eye and quite a few. And then she says, I'm going to give some of these back to you because I actually lost one of my favorites that I had not given her, but it was a Labradorite. She said, and I'm thinking maybe it's because you keep asking me for these and I don't give them back. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but this is beautiful. It's a blue stone. It's definitely a natural stone. It looks a little bit like denim lapis, but it has a lot more teal than denim. You love the peridot color and the blues. Oh, yeah. Oh, great, great. Yeah, I need to list, too. I got so many things to list. It's crazy. Look at this, guys. This is little. It's a bracelet, I guess. It's a, that's very nice. These are glass, too. I wonder if she, because I know Miss Pamela makes jewelry. She may have made some of these things. She always um, liked to buy the abalone beads or anything like that that I would find in my jars because she uses them. These are incredibly pretty. I love that topaz one. 
color anyway. I don't know what it is. But they are rocks or stones. They're cold and beautiful. That's a pretty bracelet on a magnet clasp. This is like a little, uh, maybe an enhancer or a scarf clip. I'm not sure. Because I know some of these go around pearls, right? The ones that open like that. She's Pamela Eagle Shield. Pamela Eagle Shield. Oh, I think this is uh, Juicy. I think I've had this one. Yes. Juicy. No, Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret. Yeah, I found found this one once new in a box and sold it that is so cute that is a very nice one very hefty and then it's got the little wings victoria's secret angels that's awesome oh my gosh look at this this green thing is gorgeous oh i love it I was wearing a green pendant today, but I swear I had every color in the rainbow on. I looked at myself and I said, you look ridiculous, but it was okay. I had fun. I had the pink ring. ring. I had a jade necklace and a smoky quartz ring, and it's okay. I still had fun looking at it while I worked. This is gorgeous. This actually matches the pendant I had on. Yes, I wore a pendant that looked like this at work today. Uh, at least my kids get a kick out of it. They're always complimenting me on my jewelry. Mostly the boys do, though. It's interesting. I think they're interested in rocks and things. Maybe that's it. This is pretty. It's on a stretchy. I thought it was a necklace. But it's a bracelet. Oh, gosh. This is a nice, rich hue on that crystal. It's got like purple. Maybe that's what brings out the purple because it really looks purpley on those stones. That is so cute. How's the stream so far, guys? My buffering? Let me know. This is cute too. Look at this. Teeny micro beans on a choker. And it's that really pretty beigey what some people call it beige gold blonde gold that is so pretty that's just a little knit metal there teeny tiny beads that's darling I like that that's cute good 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 let's hope it stays that way and I started a little bit later so we probably won't hear the alarms going off my 10,000 watches that sit under my table. And Robert actually moved those upstairs, but I still had some in grab bags because I had made up some grab bags with with only watches, and they're, they still reside under the table here. So one may go off. You never know. This is pretty. Very chunky, kind of edgy with a little pearl thing going on. Very nice. Again, that blonde wood. I mean that blonde wood. Blonde or beige gold tone. Another cute one. Kind of a hammered look on this one. Still had a tag remnant. Very nice. These are great for layering. And, oh, this is pretty. Look at that. That's cute. That's a nice look. Very nice look there. That's Howlite, too. You can see the color of that stone Howlite. It's a nice look, though. I really like it. The mesh and everything is pretty. It would make a very, very nice look there. Good condition, too. That's awesome. Ooh, these are cold. Possibly carnelian. Very nice. Miss Phillips, how are you? I've been thinking about you all month. Both, um, I think it was Makeup Zombie as well who asked me, have you talked to Miss Phillips? Have you talked to Miss Phillips? So we've been um, concerned about you. I hope you're doing well. I'm very happy to see you here. These are awesome. I think these are carnelian. 
Oh, and I didn't see what's at the bottom. Oh, good. Busy is good. Busy is always good. This is so cute. It's one of those uh, dichroic glass things, but the colors of it inside looks like amber or something, but then it has like a blue swirl. And these beads are, they have to be carnelian. I can't think of what else they could be. They're on the light side. I'm doing well. Thank you, Miss Phillips. This is a beautiful piece, Miss Pamela. Oh my goodness. You are so kind to send me all of these goodies. Look at this one. A little stretch with the little South Sea color silvery pearls. Hi, Lizzie and Levy. Or Levy? Is it Levy? I'm so glad you're here. Here's a big, thick, braided... I think it's silver tone, but it's nice and heavy. Bangle. That's pretty. We have some more natural stones here. Some kind of jasper, I think. I was going to say that unikite, but it's like a really dark color. What a pretty bracelet. Maybe it's that mahogany jasper, you think? That's what I think. You guys see the colors in that? That's what I'm thinking. Pretty. Oh, it looks like coffee beans, making me crave coffee. Chrissy, thank you for being here. Guys, if I didn't see you come in, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get through the jar, but I appreciate you being here so much. What is this? A little bracelet with a, with a little horseshoe and some rhinestones. That's pretty. I still have acid on my hands from testing jewelry. Here's a little cord. These always come in handy for those pendants. Nice to have those. And, okay, these look like moonstone, not moonstone, moon glow cat eye in there. Uh, the, ba the little kind of brown coffee colored ones. And then there's gold and silver beads too. Very cute. Kind of a little dangle there. Of three different colored beads. Gold, silver tone, and then kind of a moon glow cat eye in there as well. Very cool. Okay, more bangles. And we did get some real copper bangles too. This one looks like copper. I can't quite tell if it's copper colored or, or real copper, but they look really nice together. And I had a couple of others that came the other night as well. This is the third video. Hopefully the final <laughs> we can get through it. Looks like we're doing good time today though. Oh my gosh, look at that, my favorite. Oh, my favorite. I love, love, love patriotic jewelry. Oh, this is so cool, too. It's so different. It's not just the beautiful old glory, but she's got style here. Look at that. She's got a double strand with beads. Beautiful rhinestones. Oh, that's so pretty. And that color of blue is kind of, I mean, like a true... USA blue. There's differences. <laughs> there's the French blue. There's the USA blue. This is a true flag blue in that. That is amazing. I love it. Thank you so much, Miss Pamela. That's so thoughtful of you. That's going in my collection for sure. I love that. All right. 91 people here. 37 people. Put the thumbs up. The others forgot. All you have to do is leave the chat for a minute. Go over by the screen and there's two thumbs. Always hit the one that's pointing up. And that really helps other people find the channel. It's good for the channel. Let me get the other bag here. Oh my gosh, it's heavy too. And I think the bag is now empty. The box is now empty. So that should be the last. And we should be able to get through this unless... There's some tangles we run into, but that's okay. We know things get tangled. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for hitting that thumbs up. All right. Oh, my gosh. So many things, Miss Pamela. Okay, let's just dig in here on the side, kind of. 
Okay. Oh, this bracelet's cute. I think we had a big one pop out the other day that matched it a little bit. Silver tone, just a little braid. What in the world is that? I'm hearing like a little bell. It's weird. I don't know what I heard. All right, so that's cute. Oh, look at this. This one has silver tone, gold tone, and gunmetal. So that's different. A little play on the one that was really popular in the 80s. But they used a lot of rose gold mixed up. This is very nice. Looks like a Napier or something, or maybe it's vintage. I don't see anything on there. Sometimes it'll say Korea, and I'll know it's vintage for sure. Did you guys see my estate sale video? Oh my gosh, we've been enjoying that turntable my coworker gave me. That Denon. And I was just looking at the comps on eBay. <laughs> if I ever want to sell it, which I don't, because I've been wanting a turntable for a while now. Oh, I'm so excited about it. They do not go lower than $400. And... Um, Boy, I've been enjoying it. Made in Japan. That's when all the electronics, the good electronics, were made in Japan. This is a beautiful vintage one as well. Kind of a serpentine. Very, very nice. So, yeah, so we put the stereo in the living room and we're enjoying it. Feels like 1974 again. It's awesome. <laughs> Hi, Delian, how are you? You did you, Don? <laughs> they are going to be my new problem. <laughs> Here's a cute, chunky ring. <laughs> they are definitely going to be my new problem. I had a lot of fun with that. It's a nice yellow one. That's so cute. We're always talking about how we don't see enough yellow jewelry. That's a nice one. Here's another cute bangle. It has a little bit of embellishment around it. Yes, it was awesome. It's a denim. And, uh, oh my gosh, the records. I've been really enjoying them. I kept putting, um, saying turntable and phonograph or whatever, and in the back it's a record player. Just keep it simple. Because <laughs> we were looking at the at the comps this is pretty it's kind of like the little diamonds by the yard thing but it's in a little y so they're kind of channel set in there or bezel set i guess it's really pretty these are those little stretchy roll lump you can just roll them up but they kind of stretch that's cute and a little rose color and you guys haven't even seen the little chest he gave me, too. Aside from going to the estate sale, my neighbor was, my co-worker was the neighbor. So he gave me one of those mirrored chests, like a nightstand that people use, I guess. But I'm going to use it to store jewelry. He said he bought it from his neighbor who was moving a few months ago. <laughs> He's so funny. He says, I bought it from my neighbor because she didn't want to take it and... I didn't really want it, but I bought it from her anyway just to help her out, and so now you can have it. I was like, okay, thanks. <gasps> He's quite a nice man, though. These are pretty. These are very perky. Love that. Yes, they do. They weigh a ton. You're absolutely right. Because I was going to pick it up, and he said, no, 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 let your husband pick it up. It's heavy. I was like, okay. And then he gave us, the, of course, the receiver and um, a cassette player, a DVD player, I mean, a CD player, all, pretty much the whole system. <gasps> this is nice and chunky. Very nice. Very nice. They wouldn't even... This one's cute. This, this, these are glass. They are, uh, I guess, kind of a taupe color, or maybe like a like a smoky quartz, but on the lighter side of, of that color. 
done here. Who? Oh, what is this? What is this? Little charms. Is this a belt? This is cute. I think this is a belt, y'all. With these cute charms all over it. I wonder if Miss Pamela didn't make this one. Because these charms look vintage. Look how precious. They are so cute. And they're stationed across this. Well, I guess it could be a belt, but I think it's a necklace. A purple one here. Then kind of a tiger eye color, but metal color, I guess. So cool. Red. And then, yeah, this was put together so nicely. So you put it like this. There you go. It's toggled at the top. There it goes. That is cool. That's nice. Very artsy. I like that. Very, very cool. Yeah, it gives it kind of a Bollywood. I don't know. Not even Bollywood. I can't even think of what, what I'm thinking of here. Really rich looking. But definitely something historic, you know. From another time is what it looks like. Oh, look at this pretty pendant. And this is an enhancer, so it will open. And um, you can put it, you can put it with your pearls. Very nice. Sin, there you go, Sinbot, Sinbad. Yes. Uh, who was that? The King and I. There you go. The King and I type of thing. Hi, Sherry. Thanks for being here. Miss Walker or Yelly Walker, Julian. Oh, these are cute. These are real sand dollars, spray painted gold. I can feel them. Those are cool. Look at the old clips too. Patent pending on the clips. Those are really cute. Another one of these little stretch meshy things. Arabian Nights. There you go. That's what it reminds me of. All right. Here we have a little owl. He's cute. He's a chocolate color. He's on a curb chain. Nice chain on him, actually. Very cool. Okay, that light's not helping me facing that way. It is so strange. Why was that light facing that way? Just when I think I got it together, go. Okay. Here we go. This is a clamper, or did it break? No? Yeah, I think it may have broken right here. No, no, it does clamp. It has a hinge. Oh, okay, look. It kind of has like a little locking thing. That is so cool. Can you hear my husband yawning? <laughs> He's in the other room and I can hear him yawn. More of these mesh. Oh, look at this one. Oh, that is so cute. A hairbrush, a ballerina. These are the, a padlock. These are the cutest charms. Old timey telephone. Look, rhinestones on the mirror. Come in a mirror. That is too cute. Oh my gosh. That is darling. That's a pretty chain, too. And they're just dangling on there. They are not hooked onto the chain. Those are the cutest little charms. Wow. That is really, really nice. I like that. Let me see. Oh, another bracelet with some druzy. Very cool. Kind of, um, what would you call that? I don't know, it's purple and blue. It looks like the color of abalone or something. Druzy there, that's cute. Very nice. Let's see what I can do here. There's another really elaborate necklace. Snake chains, I think. Oh, thank you, Miss Smith. I appreciate that. Okay, I'm going to have to unhinge some of these because they are causing a snarl. This is 1928. 
Oh my gosh. Love 1928. Okay, this one came out. Jewelry therapy is right. I think I've had one of these and I sold it. This one just needs to be hooked back because it's like six strands. And of course, it's got the findings right there, but one of them may have come apart. Just has to be hinged back, and that's just a whole lot of snake chains. They really look like snakes like this, don't they? Wow. A good cleaning there would help, too. It looks like some are thin and some are wider than others. So they're different widths. That's pretty cool. I'll get Robert to work on that one. That one's nice. All right, where did that 1928 go? Is it this one? No, here it is. Oh, this is cute too. This is kind of a cloisonne, but I think it's... Look at that. My gosh. I've never seen a stretch like this. It's got a little coil in it. That's really cool though. Because some people have a lot of trouble getting the bracelets on. That is darling. And look, that cloisonne is a butterfly. Let me take off some of these so you can see the rest. It's a butterfly design. That's super cute. Wow, every piece is just better than the next, Miss Pamela. You're totally, totally, I can't even, I'm, I'm speechless. Can't even express myself. Oh, look at this. They're little tassels. They're little teeny tassels. All around. That is too cute. Oh my gosh, that is darling. These are really interesting pieces. Beautiful. And there's my favorite. These little articulated fish. Oh my gosh. I got a whole line of fish in here, y'all. Oh, wow, I've never seen one like this. thought it was just one. Look at that. I got really lucky fishing with this one. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. I have never, ever, ever seen one like this. And I love these. Every time I see them, I usually get them at auctions and things. But I And these have little red bead eyes on them. That is so, so cute. And the chain is darling, too. It just fits it so perfectly. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Little ones, grandpas, everything. Oh, my gosh. Look at this double. <laughs> that is a beautiful piece. That, I've never seen one like that ever. That is awesome. Awesome. Here's another really pretty chain. I love these long bar chains. Look at this. These have beautiful stations. These are acrylic. One's frosted and carnelian color. Oh, wow. This is a long one, too could be doubled. It might be one of those that doubles down the middle. I guess you could because it has a clasp and it has two stations. So yeah, it would easily double. That's beautiful too. I like that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, we've been on 30 minutes. Let's see if we can finish in an hour. Look how cute he is. <laughs> He's feathers and more feathers, metal feathers, real feathers, articulated. That is darling too. Long chain on this one. Wow. Amazing pieces, y'all. I am just in awe. Look at that. That's really nice. This looks like a modern piece, but so well made. Such interesting design on that. Such an interesting design with the extra, extra on it. Extra feathers and articulation and everything. Amazing. 
Here's a gold chain. Different textures on here too. Smooth, high polish, and some texture. This actually has a hinge on it too, a clasp. So you can double it as well if you want it. Nice color still on that too. That one earring. I'm sure the other one's in here somewhere. Oh, look at the little egg. Looks like a little Fabergé egg. And it's heavy. What is in it? Does it open? Let us know. I don't want to break it. No, I don't really see like a little hinge, but it's so heavy. It's pink. It's like a pink frost color. Kind of a gloss over it, maybe. Yeah, like a real pretty little glossy frost or something, then yellow. And that is heavy. It does open, but how? Because look, it has like a hinge right here. I'll have to figure out how to open it, y'all. Okay, here we... Yeah, here we go. No, I thought I could twist it. Because I'm twisting something. Pull up. Okay. <laughs> I hear something in there. Robert, come help me out with this egg. He'll figure it out <laughs> while I do the rest. He probably asleep already. Does it have a button on the top? It does. It's got like a little button. Do I push on it? I try pushing up. There has to be something in there. The flower lily of the valley. Push down, push up. I can't do it. Ah, oh, I'll figure it out. It has to open somehow. I just don't want to break it. Bite it. <laughs> you think I haven't bitten it yet? <laughs> I'm going to put it right there. I can't believe he fell asleep already. Just when I need him. Push down and pull out. I can't. It won't do it for me. But there is something in there. I wonder if it's a chicken. <laughs> I, I don't want to break it, y'all. Then it's better that I break it, not Robert. Because I will get mad if he breaks it. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. I think I already got this one. I don't know if it came out of here, but I think I got one of these from Avon. Yeah. Bop. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this is, what does this say, Napier? It's like a little slider. It'll go through a chain. It's really pretty. Kind of a gold topaz, too yellow Avon did I turn the top already I did I turned the top and everything how can this be so hard to do look at that It's got like a bend right there. So there's something going on. Horse happy. <laughs> That's so cute. A little white enamel horse. And... Um, it says horse happy and I don't know who that signature is but it's not Alex and Annie very cool we have this chain here nice pendant oh my goodness we will figure it out and I will show you tomorrow or the next time we see each other <laughs> it is I cannot believe Robert's asleep Robert oh. 
He is. He's asleep on the sofa. I just know it. <laughs> or he's watching something with his headphones on. That's probably what he's doing. Watching something on Netflix. Here's a chain. Gold tone. <laughs> I'm trying to wake him up to come help. Oh, well. It's okay. Here's a little bracelet. Gold tone. <laughs> I know, Don. I'm going to try that, too. I'm going to try everything to get that open. I'll show a picture. I'll put it in my community page. We will work that out. <laughs> I'll put it in my community page tonight. You'll see it come up on the feed <laughs> with it open. I guarantee he's going to open it before he gets in bed. gracious we have another tangle here y'all let's see what it is and this is also marked and client no this is another 1928 okay did we ever pull out the 1928 i lost it with the fish i don't even remember now oh wow Oh, wow, look at this. It's got like a little um, camphor glass look on this locket, 1928. This is pretty. Wow, I think I have a couple of 1928 lockets still. And this one's gorgeous. Look at that pretty rope chain on it, too. Nice and long, a good, I think this is probably about 30 inches long. What a beautiful beautiful 1928 and look at the bale even the bale is gorgeous oh thank you very much i'm glad you enjoyed that ex excursion here's a little angel pin that one's cute i'm glad you came with me because uh, robert would have been a lot grumpier he didn't know I was recording most of the time, but he would have been a lot grumpier. <laughs> but he still did it, so that's what matters, right? This is nice. This is kind of an antique gold snake chain, and this is a round one. Totally round. Nice. Very, very cool. Um, oh, here's another gold chain in here that's tangled up. Guys, thanks for coming in. If I don't see you in the chat, it's just because I'm trying to get to the tingles. But I do appreciate you being here very much. I hope you take the time to subscribe today. It's a little gold chain, guys. There's a couple of knots in it. And it looks like it may need the jump ring, but that is so delicate and pretty. Pull and turn. I've done it all. <laughs> But it's heavy, and I hear a shake. It's shaking. It's making noise. A sound, rather. And so I know there's something in it. We just don't know what. We just don't know what yet. <gasps> uh, well, good. You're always invited, Miss Kathy, if you're talking to me. All right, this is really pretty. Look at that. Nice colors, green and white. We have some caps on those beads. Very pretty yellow, yellow gold. Super sunny gold here. And these are all acrylic. So it's nice and lightweight. Really cute though, I like it. Very cool. Okay, let me see what else we have. Another pendant, pearl. And 
And this one matched the necklace. So we have a chunky bracelet and a chunky necklace that match. These look like 1928 earrings, but only in style. They usually scroll. They usually have a very distinct scroll. So may not be on that. Okay. And then what else do we have here? Uh, oh, this is cute. There's some stones missing on this, but it's such a delicate piece. It looks very deco. They probably fell out in the bag. That happens. That is so pretty. <laughs> what is in the egg, right? This is cool. I like pieces like this. This is metal, enameled. Yeah, what do you think's in the egg? I think it's gonna be like a like another little gem. I don't think it's gonna be a, a little chick or anything. Isn't that cool? A pearl? I think this is really, really nice. Purple chain too. I like it. I and it's gonna make a nice little melodic sound too. Can you hear that? Yep. Very cool. We have a ring, another pretty ring, red, white, and blue. Another egg. Oh, my goodness, like a nesting thing. I was on an auction where they had a whole bunch of cool nesting dolls. I almost bit on them. They were going high. They were different, too. They had, like, the czars and uh, Lennon, <laughs> which was kind of cool. I wanted to see what was inside Lennon. So I, I, nah, I didn't want to go that high. It wasn't that high, actually. It was like $7. <laughs> but it still had a long way to go. I don't think it's over till tomorrow. Oh, these are cute. These are kind of a color of um, garnet. And then kind of a gunmetal color here. And then two interesting chains. kind Like a wheat and a double curb. I call this a wheat chain, guys. What do you call it? Like I said, once um, a jeweler called it that. It does look like a wheat, actually. But I don't know what else people call it. Julie, how are you? Oh, these are earrings. I thought it was a little open locket. Those are cute. They are clip. I need to give my sister some clip-ons. That's all she's wearing now. So I'm getting a good collection ready for her. Oh, these are darling. They are really cute hearts. Kind of open. And then we got the match to this one here. These are cute. They look very 1928. All right, let's see what else pops out of here. I'm going to take a drink. Mother of Pearl Pendant. That's cute. Big. Very nice. That's really thick, too. This is pretty. This feels like jade. It's cold. A little green. It may be like a glass. But it's nice. It's very nice. I'll have to take a look at it under the loop. I wouldn't doubt it if it's jade. Miss Pamela loves her good jewelry, I'm telling you. I'm going to leave it on now. It's really pretty. <laughs> this is nice. It is. It's really cold, too. Another 1928. Oh, my goodness. Look at this one. This one's gunmetal with red. And then what does this one say? Michelle. Michelle Starbuck? Never heard of that. Is that what it says? No, Star Starbuck. Yeah, Starbuck. Michelle Starbuck is the other necklace here. 
Cool. And what a pretty necklace it is. It has howlite. And I love the little chevron design on that. Look at that. That is really cool. That's pretty. Tell me that wouldn't be a beautiful layered piece. Put something in the middle there. Maybe that mother of pearl. Ah, love it. That is so cool. All right, let's look at the 1928 bib. It's like a little mini bib. So cute. Very Jane Austen looking. Look at that. And that is 1928. It's a really good brand to look for. If you're not familiar with it, it's a really good brand. It was really popular in the 70s and 80s. They still make it, but some of their designs were really a lot better ex executed back in earlier times. Okay. Then we have a little choker. These are ceramic, I think. They're like a polished ceramic. They look a little pearlesque, kind of, but they look like they're ceramic. Very pretty. Short little choker. And then these are nice, too. Some kind of shells on a leather cord. And that is a real leather cord. Very nice. I'm going to iron that cord out. I love leather cords. I think they're cool. Okay. Wasn't that pretty, that Michelle piece? Yes, the 2028 is very nice as well. I just feel like the materials were a little bit better uh, quality because I have pieces from the 70s and they have survived. They really have. Oh, look at this one, guys. This is so cute. This has mother of pearl coral colors. This, I don't know if it's coral. Let me look at it under the loop here. It may just be a coral bead color. Col coral colored. That was not easy to say. Coral colored bead, but I'm going to take a better look at it because they are... They're pretty orange. I think they're another kind of stone, not coral. But boy, do they look pretty in this necklace. It's a Y necklace. It has little drops. Oh, that's amazingly beautiful. And on gold tone, no less. Look at that big hunk of pearl there, mother of pearl. And all of these beautiful dangles in a Y design. That is just so, so pretty. This screams, take me to the beach now. I love that. Amazing. That's a beautiful design. Right? Yeah, our 1928 jewelry and our gunny sack dresses and um, platform shoes. Platform shoes. Oh, I had some beautiful platform shoes. I wish I still had them. I'd display them in my room. I'd probably kill myself trying to wear them. I don't know. The platform shoes were actually more comfortable than heels to me. Than, um, what do you call it? Those uh, pointy, pointy high heels. This is pretty. It's a faceted tiger eye. Very cool. Uh, the leather cord needs to be replaced. It's a little worn. It's such a beautiful stone. And I'm not sure what these are. I think there's a little rose quartz in there. Maybe some carnelian. That's a beautiful necklace. It's a long one. Look. So that is really pretty worn long, don't you think? A little pendulum swing going on there. Stilettos. That's the word I was working, looking for. Yes, I find, I find the platform shoes much more comfortable than stilettos. Oh my gosh, I always feel like I'm going to... I can only walk so far in stilettos. Oh, look at these. They look like little um, acorns. And they are some kind of stone, too. They're cold. Beautiful color. 
sea foam color. Look at that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dawn. I know I'm dating myself, right? I just, just like, I can't remember the shoes. I can't remember the shoe brands that were popular. <laughs> Look at these wonderful earrings, guys. Those are nice. I don't think I would wear them, but somebody would look great in these. I'll have to give give these to Anna. She'll probably have a friend that would love to wear them. Those are really cool. I'm more of these little pearl enhancers. Look at that. And they can all go on a strand of pearl. <laughs> exactly. <gasps> we don't bounce back as easy. I know I don't. Oh, gosh. Those are pretty. Post earrings. Oh, this is cute. This has kind of a gold color and natural colored pearl, faux pearl. <gasps> what was that? A moth? Did y'all see the moth pass? Where did that come from? Oh, my gosh. That was scary. I got a lot of lights. I guess they're all coming by. <gasps> Look at that. That is cute. That looks like the sun. You saw it? Yes. That was scary. Look at that beautiful necklace. Oh, that is so cool. That is, look right here, it goes into all gold colored pearls. And then, and the, then it graduates to more of a blend. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Such unique pieces. I thought I had seen every piece of jewelry design. And then they come out with these things from this bag that I've never seen anyone execute. Wow. Like those fish and that egg. This is pretty. Very lightweight. This is a really pretty piece to layer up. That'll be going into one of my ensembles for sure. Oh my gosh, you're right. All the cashmere that my coworker gave me. I've got to sell that stuff. These are beautiful. Look at these. I cannot believe there is no mark on these. They look like seashells or something. And they're a brushed finish. Very nice. Okay, wow, look at all these beads. See if we can get them out of here without damaging them. All right, almost. Guys, if you just join me for the first time, we do jewelry a lot, but we do other things too. We love treasure hunting at thrift stores and everywhere. If you like to do that, don't forget to subscribe. Subscription button is on the right. It's a little red rectangle. It's always free. Be sure and hit that. This is gorgeous, guys. This is super heavy. It looks like a Chico's, it doesn't say. But these are all glass beads, and I can feel it in the weight. And it's mixed in with some metal ones, too. Colors are amazing. Gold, black, cream. Wow. Very nice piece. Some kind of metal. That is awesome. That's really heavy. All right. This bracelet's beautiful. Little hinged bracelet in gold tone. That is very nice. That little crescent moons or something. Very cool. Yeah, I thought for sure it was a Chico's. Chico's does some great work. Here's a very nice one. This is a glass stone there with a little peridot, faux peridot. 
and this is on gold tone very nice really sunny yellow color as well all right let's see what is this is this a bear a dog a lab i think how cute it looks bronze that is darling oh how cute That is so pretty. All right, these are ceramic. <laughs> I think it's a bird. These are so cute. Well, clay, I guess. Robert, I was looking for you. I need you to do something, but I'm still alive. Uh, we got this little egg, and, and we can't open it. Can you figure it out without breaking it, please? <laughs> I, somebody said push and pull. Somebody said pull and push. But there is something in that egg, and we want to know what it is. Hurry, because we're oh, almost... Yeah, that chicken. <laughs> no, we think it's a pearl. And then tell us how you did it, because I could not do it. <laughs> oh, look how cute. Christmas made in China. That's a cute, it's a mini one. Tiny little tree. Okay. Then we have this little bangle. Very cute with some braiding going on. That'll go with this little thing here. That's a good matchup. All right, here is uh, some kind of stone that cracked open just so that we could see what was inside of it. Some kind of jersey going on then in there. Can you see the glitter? I guess it's an agate. What do you think it is, Jasper? That is so cool. And look, it's got little colored, I don't know if you can see, it's got like little colored pools too of where there may be some trapped water nodules or something. I don't know. That is really cool. And there's the back of it. Divots. That is so nice. Feels really nice. It's going to have to go in my collection too. I like this one. This has a knotted cord on it. That's really cool. If you can tell me what kind of rock that is, be good to know. Let it Leave it in the comments. If you're watching the video later, always comment as well. We love learning what we don't know. This is cool. It's a little twisty necklace. It's like a worry stone. Yeah, that makes sense. This has silvery pearls. Seed beads of gold, I mean, silver and black. Very pretty. And has a barrel clasp on that. That's nice. Did you break it? Did you crack it open? Yeah. <laughs> How did you do you it? Can scramble eggs on <laughs> How did, what, the, oh, okay, well, there's that moth again. Go kill that moth. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw that, but we couldn't get it open. It's, oh my gosh, how cool. But how did you, how do I close it then? It's just it's magnet? magnetic. I just have to dig in? Mm hmm I didn't have to do anything? You don't have to push anything, just. Oh, wow. Tanto. Tanto pedos. I am live, stop. <laughs> I think it's a rose quartz, guys. Look how precious that is. Thanks, babe. <laughs> it's so cute. A little cabochon. Oh, that is precious. And he said it was totally magnetic. All I had to do was stick my nail in there. <laughs> Bingo. That's <laughs> We got it done at least. That is so cute. What a great place to carry your little amulet or something. <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> he
figure. I told you he'd figure it out. <laughs> I cannot believe a hundred of us couldn't figure it out. <laughs> There's a hundred people watching, and we could not. Nobody said, "Just put your nail in there, Thelma, and it's magnet." We we're like, "Push it, pull it, <laughs> twist it." <laughs> Don said, "What did you say, Don? Jump up and down or something?" <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm losing it. I'm getting a giggle attack. This is a little dichroic glass heart. Pretty. Black and white stripe. <laughs> this is really nice and heavy. Well made on this one. I like it. I sold a lot of hearts a couple of weeks ago. And I was kind of heartbroken because then I didn't have any more hearts left. But now I have one. <laughs> oh my god. I saw one of these not too long ago. I think I sold it with all of this beautiful, what's it called? Oh, I say that word a thousand times and now I can't think of it. Look how pretty. How light. There it is. All of these are how light in this gorgeous turquoise color. I don't think I had this much on mine. I think mine started about right here. Look at that, another sunburst design. Wow, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. All highlight, y'all. Nice and heavy and cold. <laughs> so funny. Ah, thank you guys again for being here. We're still almost done, almost done. Let's keep going. What a pretty one. Look at this dichroic glass. I love these. They're starting to really grow on me. I got I find them a lot. But it, lately I've been finding some really unique designs. This one's very nice. Very cool. And then we have one of these little drawstring bracelets. This one has silver beads. They're acrylic beads. And... This? Oh, this is cool. This is like um, the wire ones, but this one's stiff. Look at that. $32 originally from Macy's. And the wires are stiff on this one. So they won't tangle up with everything else as easily. This one kind of reminds me of something celestial. Galaxy. Isn't that pretty? Gold tone. I don't see a maker on this one, but it's gorgeous. That's really a pretty one. Teals, blue, gold, even kind of a green gold, actually. Very nice colors on that. Boy, we went off the rails on that one, didn't we? Sorry, I lost it there with Robert. He made me laugh. <laughs> Look at this one. This one's pretty. It looks very 80s. The pink. That's a nice one, too. Sometimes my lights get in the way, don't they? Sorry about that. The glare. Here's a pretty cross. That one's very nice. I thought I saw a little mark on the back, but let me see. If I was mistaken. It has a star. That's interesting. It's got like a little star on the back. And it kind of looks like silver to me. It has kind of a, a Celtic knot star in the back. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. Something about it reminds me that it, I mean, something about it looks like sterling, but I don't know. It's still beautiful nonetheless. I like that. And we have a black chain. Oh, that'll look really nice with the black key from the other day, which I just happen to have right here. Isn't that cool? Maybe it went together at one time. Looks like they were made for each other. <laughs> Tell Robert, who uh, trying to take a nap? I know, right? How dare he trying to take? I think he was upstairs, though. He must have gone up there to watch something. 
Okay, I can't get it in there. I may have to flatten that a little bit, but I'm going to put this on here, and it's going to look great. And we're going to put it together with some kind of an ensemble, maybe something red, maybe something Alice in Wonderland looking or something. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. That is so amazing. That is the end of the wonderful gift from my wonderful friend, longtime friend, longtime subscriber, Pamela Eagle Shields. She is just amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the gifts that you sent. This is not the first gift she sends me. And she's just really, really kind and generous and a wonderful person. So thank you so much. And thank you all who watched and enjoyed it with me. And we got off the rails together with that egg, but it was okay. Please come back for another one. I've got an incredible thrift haul. When I get a chance, I will bring it to you. I do want to show you everything I got at the estate sale, and I've been thrifting all of last week. I'm trying to stay away this week, but we've got so many thrifts to do. Thrift hauls. So I hope you enjoy thrift hauls. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. It was good having you here. Dawn and everybody else in the chat. Vanessa, Kathy Phillips, I'm so glad you're nice and busy. And I hope to see you all very, very soon. Glam Kitty, thanks for being here. Glam Kitty Jewelry. I'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful night. Have a good Tuesday. Bye.